Hi there everybody, it's Verity here from inkybutterfly.wordpress.com Thank you for joining me today for another card making tutorial and we're going to work with pretty perennials again today this is fast becoming a favourite of mine it's just so versatile loads of things you can do with it and uh, last time I used this I just used a stamp set on its own for some simple card making um, if you roll back you'll see that one I think it was last Friday uh, God only knows what that date was. But anyway, and we are going to use the coordinating die set today. There's 23 dies in the die set. Fantastic, like a phenomenal value. Um, you can see there's a few missing because we're going to use them. But um, really, really fantastic bundle. Um, and I think uh, if you just add a little bit of extra to this, you'd qualify for a free celebration item at the moment. So that's until the end of february that's when um, the celebration ends so that's worth bearing in mind and there is a gorgeous paper that would um complement this in fact there's a couple um complement this set so that's worth checking out sample card is this one which actually did as um a color challenge it's just a little bit of fun in um one of the facebook groups that we're we're um that i'm a member of so uh, this used just jade, grey granite and highland heather. So that was the card I came up with. And you can see how those dies fit together beautifully for these layered flowers. The pearls are actually um, highland heather pearls. They're from the pastel pearls, which are in the hydrangea hill um, suite. That's fantastic. Um, stitch rectangle there as well but other than that it's just some simple stamping and layering okay so um, we're going to remake this with a tweak or two um, for another colour challenge <laughs> so, um, set by the same person but in a different Facebook group but um, Old Olive, Night of Navy and Petal Pink and the reason these were picked um, for a colour challenge was because they feature in one of the celebration papers and it was a combination that they thought was wow okay never thought of putting those colors together so here we have an old olive card base i've decided to add an extra layer of knight of navy on there uh, to um ping our white a little bit from that um, old olive okay if you want the measurements the white layer is three and three quarters by five and a half navy layer is an eighth bigger so it's three and seven eighths by five and five eighths usual size card base so those are my layers okay i've already got my cutting emboss um set up to do a bit of die cutting so i've already cut one set of leaves and a set of the petals and the overlay uh, and you can see there knight of navy petal pink old olive Cutting emboss is ready to go with dies on it, so I'm just going to roll those through right now. Remember, using your cutting emboss is easy as one, two, three. You know, so you have your platform number one, you have your thin die, um, like adapter plate thing, which is number two, and you then um, put your dies between your number three cutting plates. Okay, so I'm rolling those through gently. So there's two of those. They they just fall out of the cardstock. I mean that's just falling apart in my hands. It they cut fantastically well. Um, I think that's a combination of the new machine design and the um, the new dies. So fantastic products. Just comes out completely clean like that. So there's our um leaf i'll poke that out in a second because we need another set of the leaves and sorry the petals now i'm hoping that this fits on here oh look at that go might just about Ooh. i'm gonna take that down i think it's just about the um because the cutting edge is just inside the edge of that so it might just about fit okay so let's um I've got a little p 
pieces of cardstock everywhere so just being careful I'm not spreading those out and I'm just aware that you can't see anything right now so again we just look we just fold out just like that and sometimes you just need to give it just the, the nearest of pokes through and that will come out just fine on there okay and oh yes our other petals just about fitted on there that was great fantastic so so there we are that's that bit done just need to clean off the plate because we will have to die cut our sentiment as well but we'll do that once we have um a bit of this and we'll put these to, um put the glue on these flower centers so while they're drying we can um in fact i might use a glue dot that might be quicker okay so two sets of leaves this time because um on the layout on this one i just felt like it was a bit naked at the top kind of thing um so let's have a play with that layout because that's what it's all about just having a oops miss one of those So I kind of had it in mind that I would put them this way and fill up the card um, like that and cover up the stalks with the sentiment panel. Okay, right, yeah, glue dot. I think that'll be nice and quick then, okay. These are really, really cool. They just about fit behind there. They might show a little bit, but if we're going to put a gem on the top, it's not going to matter. Okay, um, you could offset these. Um, I don't think they particularly lay over the image in any any way you know in terms of orientation um, so I'm just going to stick them on where I fancy just like so I'm just going to pick them up and I think uh, we can do some regular pearls on there or some diamantes we'll have a, look, have a look in a minute okay so those are our sort of elements if you like ready to put together we just need to stamp a sentiment so i'm just going to bring in some um scrap white cardstock and i think we're going to stamp with night of navy okay because we've only got little peaks of that coming through on um on the uh sort of card layers if you like so we'll do that and we are using the happy sentiment from the pretty perennials set it's just just amazing this set it's really really cute and i just like the um you've got so many different combinations of sentiment that you can use so this time we're sending lots of happy we could do the sending lots of in petal pink just as a bit of shall we just shall we do that just to sort of do something different have a two-tone sentiment light tapping on your ink pad and because you can see through the stamp you can position that that looks cute doesn't it i was going to do it in one color but i think that looks lovely and I'm going to use a stitched rectangle. This is actually the third smallest in the set if you have it. Um, if you don't have um, rectangular dies like this, um, you can, of course, just trim it out on your trimmer or guillotine or whatever you have. And we're just going to roll that through the die cut machine as well. So of course this gives me an excuse to use dimensionals of course because I like um I do like dimensionals on my um that cracking noise um is just the die going through I wasn't able to um put it in at an angle if you put the um if you can get your dice to go in almost corner first particularly for these ones with the um a straight edge if you, if you try and guide your corner through it goes through far smoother than if you were trying to sort of bash the rollers um with a with a straight edge like that but um it wasn't quite at the right angle to do that so that's why it was making that noise but it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt at all okay so that's our sentiment which um like i say we're going to um pop up so i'm using 
four dimensionals and sort of putting them in the middle so that we've got sort of space to tuck things into. Probably not take those off just yet. It's really nice. I like that combination of colours actually. Yeah, it's cool. Okay then, right. Let's see what we're going to do with these then. Shall we start layering some stuff up? Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Stamp and seal. Just couldn't see it on my desk. Really love these tape runners. I didn't to start off with, but I'm I really like them now. I just like the speed of um, sort of dry adhesives, if you like. Always manage to get into a mess with wet adhesive. Has its place, of course, so I will be using it to um, to put down some of these elements. But um, like I say, I just find I get into a mess. Maybe that's more a sign of my uh, <laughs> of my heavy-handedness than uh, I'm sure. You know, a lot of my friends swear by the wet glue, and that's all they really use. All personal preference, loads loads of different glues um, in the Stampin' Up! catalogue and you just pick the one that you want to work with, so no right and wrong really, no right and wrong. Okay, so this is what, this is the look that I thought we were going for, okay, so it sort of fills up the card a little bit more and I think that looks, I think that looks nice as it is to be fair. Um, Okay, so we're going to stick that centrally-ish, and what I'm going to do is I am going to use the wet glue. This is where wet glue I find is the is useful, right? Um, putting a dab of the glue over these dimensionals and just not pressing it down too hard in the first instance will mean that we've got a little bit of repositionability um, if we feel like we want to move anything. Okay, so I'm just going to lay it down, but I'm not going to press down too hard. Okay, I'll press down once, I've, once I'm happy with the placement on here. So, um, but these little things, uh, as long as you've got some glue sort of holding down the key areas, they'll that me, and that'll be fine. So I'm not going to go overboard with that. So that's tucking in under there. See what I mean? We've got, got some some sort of playtime, if you like. Um, just to make sure that we can get this where we want it. Any stray glue will dry clear and you can rub it away with an adhesive eraser. So there's just a little spot underneath that leaf there that you probably can't see but I can. Um, so I'll go over that with a glue eraser. Took that in, put that in about there, that'll do. Okay, so that's not really stuck down particularly, but um, it's not going to go anywhere with the other elements. So now I'm pressing down on this. Okay, um, I don't know why I'm putting that away because I need it again. Um, so yeah, if you just go. Um, over that with your glue eraser that'll remove those which will do that properly at the end so there we have it and then we've got our trio of flowers okay which I'm just going to press into the palm of my hand to just do, lift them up and just give them that sort of cupped shape And like I say, just um, again, just so that you've got a bit of time to um, mess with your positioning, wet glue is good for these. And it's far enough away from my fingers to not be causing me an issue in terms of mess. Okay, there we are. So 
as it happens, a lot of those leaves have, oh, that's gone a bit too far over on that side, so, so I don't want that to sit, you know, you don't want them sticking out beyond where I, um, uh, they might fit into an envelope, do you, do you see what I mean? So that's what I mean about, you know, just having that bit of manoeuvrability um, while you, while you um, coordinate your, um, your layout is really really cute so what do we want pearls or oops or dimensional um not dimensionals what are they called rhinestones so we've got some plain white pearls or i've got some but i don't have many i don't i've only got the little teeny tiny ones and i think what i want is the largest size to make sure that blue dot is covered up so i think we'll just go with the large rhinestone um, if you wanted to colour them, you can with um, the alcohol markers, the stamping blends. But I think just having a bit of a twinkle on there is actually quite nice. What do you reckon? Okay, I think I like the layout of this one better. They are funny colours but I don't think it's um uh, I think they I think it looks nice though really really pleased with how that's turned out love to know what you think and of course I mean good good grief if you can think it do it um <laughs> loads and loads and loads and loads of different um colours of course that we could um put together of your choice so yeah that, that is that is my offering for today hope you like it um, as always, if you click on the description, there'll be um, the uh, direct link to the blog post where there'll be a, some still pictures. Um, there'll be a list of all the products I've used um, and direct shop links. So if you click on them, they go straight to my online shop and you can put them in your basket. Um, there's also uh, my social media links. So you can find me on um, Instagram and Pinterest and Facebook at Stamping with Inky Butterfly. So... There you are, darlings. Okay, I love you and leave you. Please continue to stay safe, everybody. And uh, I'll catch you again soon. Take care. Bye.